bicentennial quarters. We've all pretty much seen them, and whenever we come across them, there are key features to look for on them to see if they're worth a lot of money. The coins we go over in this video have sold for a lot of money. The last thing you want to do is accidentally spend one of these coins, later to find out that it was actually worth a lot of money. Let's start the video with this one little quarter that graded by PCGS at a mint state 67 and it sold for $57. So if the condition of your coin is really nice, you might want to get it graded and sell it for more money. Now this is a special coin because it's what we call a proof coin. Now proof coins are easy to tell if you have one by the backdrop or field of the coin is going to be like a mirror. It's going to be very shiny, reflective. Now proof coins do not come out in circulation unless it's an accident, but if you find a proof coin in circulation, which is pretty unlikely, it's not going to be in this good of condition. If you come across a collection or someone gives you a coin like this, make sure you handle it properly. You don't want to damage the coin and decrease the value. We have a completely free ebook down below. Click on that link, enter your email address, and we'll send you that free ebook. It goes over coin handling, grading, and some other things, but you don't have to do that. Just make sure that when you're handling your coins, you do it properly in a fashion that will not decrease the value or condition of your coin because this quarter sold for $169. Now here's a coin that sold for $1,740. This is a 1976D 25 cent clad bicentennial quarter. Now if you're looking at the front bottom right hand side of the coin, you're going to see what's called a D mint mark. This D mint mark stands for the Denver Mint where this coin was produced. Now your coin can come with no mint mark. That would mean it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint or an S mint mark standing for the San Francisco Mint and very rarely you'll see a coin with a W mint mark. Now bicentennial coins don't come from the West Point Mint with a W mint mark but there are some quarters out there with that W mint mark which will allow them to sell for more money. This specific coin sold for $1,740. So here are two coins that sold for a total of $2,880. This is a 1976 25 cent bicentennial quarter. It's a two coin matted pair. Now during the minting production, somehow, likely intentionally, someone put another planchet on top of this planchet, which double struck these coins, causing this to be a matted pair error. If you have anything like this, make sure you contact your rare coin expert because $2,880 for these pair. $6,600 for this 1976 S 25 cent silver quarter graded by PCGS at a mint state 69. So how do you tell if you have a silver quarter? Typically as default, silver coins will be worth more money than clad coins just based on their metal composition. Now here's a photo of the sides of some coins. You can see that the one that looks different is the silver one. That is an easy way to spot if you have a silver coin. Because this one graded so highly at only one point away from the perfect grade of 70, this one sold for $6,600. Here's another bicentennial coin that sold for $8,400. This one graded by PCGS at a mint state, 66. And the main reason why it sold for so much money is because this is a doubled die obverse coin. Now obverse means front, reverse means the back. A doubled die is pretty much when the die that strikes these coins has a mistake on it, it gets doubled. That is when the coin has a double die obverse. Pretty much what you need to know here is that sometimes doubling can be hard to see, but if we zoom in on a few areas here, you can see that there is a bit of doubling happening. Long story short, a dealer or coin collector is going to want to pay a lot of money for a double die obverse like this one that's over $8,400. Now we have a completely free ebook down below. You can click on that link to learn more. That goes over all things coin handling, grading, but you don't have to do that. Just keep doing your homework and research and we'll see you in the next video.